Hi, this is Pavel with a C-Sharp exercise uh, from the book uh, Visual C-Sharp 2012, How to Program. Uh, this is Chapter 7, Exercise 35, a Recursive Power Calculation. Uh, we are to write a recursive method called power that expects uh, two arguments, one for base and one for exponent, that when called returns base exponent, for example, power 3, 4, will equal 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 in other words it will equal to the 3 to the power of 4 it will calculate that now assume that the exponent is an integer greater than or equal to 1 so I'll assume that meaning I will not do any validation I will simply take the numbers as they come the recursion uh, step should use the relationship base expo exponent equals base times base exponent minus 1. This is the recursion. The minus 1 means that each time we call this we will get a 1 less until the condition is met that will allow us to exit the uh, recursion. The terminating condition occurs when exponent is equal to 1 because uh, base uh, equals base 1 equals 1 or base 1 equals base in incorporate this method into an app that enables the user to enter the base and exponent. In other words, we will get the user input and then we will calculate the recursion, uh, uh, the exponent using the recursion. All right, so uh, this is my project. So I'll just do the integer exponent, uh, initialize it to zero. I will do integer base equals zero. Uh, Actually, I cannot have base because that's a keyword, so I'll just do base integer and I will also do exponent integer just so they kind of match. So, they, okay, so we got the console dot right line and we ask the user to enter the base and we will store that in our variable base int and we will, of course, do the convert to integer 32. We will convert the console dot read line, whatever the user sends us. And like again, we are not checking whether this is actually an integer. We'll assume it is. So that's the base. Now we will ask the user to enter the exponent. And just like before, we will store that, but in exponent int equals convert to integer 32 console dot read line so now we have both those values and we can call the function power like they want us to and pass those values into it so let me create the public static and it will return an integer it will return the result or the exponent uh, not the exponent the the result of the calculation the power of and uh, so it's called power and it expects the integer I'll name them the same base integer and the integer exponent integer so this is our function uh, at the moment it shows an error because we need to obviously uh, return something over here I'll come and now we can call the function and I will do it straight from the console that right line. I will simply merge it together with the uh, with the string for the kind of like the final result. So it will simply say result is, and I will call the function the power, and I will pass the uh, base integer and the exponent integer to it. So this is not the uh, recursion, this is we simply calling the function only once, but we are calling it kind of combined with the uh, console right line. In other words, I'm not storing the result of this, uh, or whatever the, the power function returns, I'm not storing it in any variable, I'll simply output it directly to our console.write line. And I will do console.write not right line but 
read line to pause the screen if we use the debug. So again, this is our function and we're supposed to do the recursive, we're supposed to calculate the base exponent, uh, basically calling the function by decreasing the base exponent by one. And so we will do, again, I'm not gonna store it, I'm just gonna return the base integer to the end. In, in order to make it recursive, we will simply call the function again, or itself, and pass the in uh, the base again the base doesn't change base uh, if you look at this the base 3 stays the same the exponent is uh, what changes uh, it's even says it right here the exponent minus 1 and that's what we we'll, what we'll do we will simply pass the exponent integer minus 1 so we will decrease it with each call now if i run it now it's not gonna work uh, it, will, it, it should compile, yes it did, but uh, the result, the logic is wrong and you'll see why. Uh, if I do the base 3 to the power of 3, it simply goes stuck overflow exception. And the result is that there is no termination. Uh, the, this function doesn't terminate, it just keeps calling itself over and over again uh, with lower and lower... Um, exponent we, we are decreasing the exponent but it doesn't say anywhere until when and this is where it this comes to terminate the condition or the terminating condition occurs when the exponent is equal to one so what we have to do we have to check for the condition and when it equals to one we will uh, we will stop it now in this case we will simply check whether the exponent is zero and if it is that's when it's uh, going to actually uh, return one it's going to be our final uh, it's gonna be a termination so if our exponent equals zero let's return one that will terminate the uh, recursion else we will simply we will simply keep calculating okay so let's see if uh, this works so if I do the base 3 to the power of 3 we get 27 which 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is uh, 27 so that's correct as you can see uh, let's try uh, 3 and 4 3 to the power of 4 equals 81 and we can even check that I mean it is correct but uh, just so you see we've got 3 to the power of 4 equals 81 now let's see what is actually happening how it is uh, coming up with the result now let's say we get the let's say we get uh, 2 and 5 so in other words 2 to the power of 5 which uh, equals what 32 let me see 2 to the power of 5 equals 32 because we got, that's basically equals uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and that is 4 8 16 32 so that is correct so with the first call we are passing the uh, 2 and 5 however we don't really calculate anything we'll simply go and uh, do the function again this time with the exponent less uh, one less than before so it's gonna be the same base which is 2 but this time it's going to be 4 and then again it's gonna be 2 and 3 and 2 and 2 and then it's gonna be two and one and at the end it's gonna be two and zero and this when the exponent is zero will terminate the uh, the recursion it doesn't come it comes over here again it's calling the function but now exponent is zero 
so it returns one so what happens is over here it will return one so this will now return one so now it comes back to this now it can calculate it we have a if we have one so now it can calculate base which is two times one basically it calculates it across like two multiplied by one right so uh, that equals two so it returns back to this one which multiplies two by two which is as we all know four now it comes here two times four that equals eight now it will do two times eight which basically is 16 and finally comes back to the first one that was sent uh, from uh, our original um, call to this function which is 2 times 16 and that's the final result which is 32 so now there's nothing else to calculate it comes here and outputs 32 the result is 32 let me uh, do it with the uh, debugger so you can see that the calls or how the calls are made so I'll do again 2 to the uh, power of 5 all right so now watch what's gonna happen there uh, where I'm going to be getting the uh, uh, you know the, the step by step so it comes over here no it's not zero the exponent is five because that's what we just passed from here so it comes over here and it goes to return but before it returns anything it has to calculate this the base is two the exponent is five but now minus one so it will come over here it will return back to the function now exponent is four base remains two just like before exponent is four so this one is skipped it comes over here and again it tries to calculate it but before it does it's calling the same function the function power this time exponent is four but it's going to be minus one in other words three so when it comes back to the function now it's base two exponent three now it will be base 2 exponent 2 and finally now the exponent is going to be 1 actually not finally it's going to do one more so uh, exponent is 1 and now it do th does the final call 1 minus 1 is 0 so now it comes to try to do the function again this time this condition is true so it returns 1 and now look what's gonna happen it's coming to the like the end of the function except now it starts coming back to this line that we called five times so it has to uh, now it can perform the actual calculations see how it jumps back to it to finish what it started it, it comes to the same point where the return was called so it comes four five times now you can see the exponent is 5 again 2 and 5 all right because that's what it was calculating so it, now it's calculate 2 2 and 5 and finally it returns it over here with the exponent 5 and returns the or shows the uh, result as 32 so we have to you have to remember and realize that even though it has a return before it returns anything it keeps coming to this function and only one after this terminates it returns back and now it goes backwards from uh, uh, whatever was you know whatever return was last is going to be processed and then at the end uh, in other words it's going to process the base 2 and the exponent one then base two exponent uh, two and so forth and ends with the base two and exponent five which was the original call and it calculates the uh, result again this is these are the calls with the changing values and once it comes over here and it returns one and terminates then it calculates two times one 
which is 1. I, I mean, uh, uh, 2 and 0, it returns 1. So now it comes over here and calculates 2 times 1, which is 2. And again, it comes to the call before that, which is 2 times 2. Now it's going to be 4. Call before that will be 8, 2 times 4. Call before that, 2 times 8, 16. And the first call, call will be 2 times 16, which is 32, which is our result. So this is a little confusing, uh, the whole recursion thing. Uh, you, obviously you could do this in different ways, you could do it with a loop, but uh, in this exercise they wanted us to do it with a recursion. Now in this case we have to return 1, uh, as you could see here, we are returning 1. If we return simply 0, everything would be 0, because we would multiply everything with 0. Uh, all the returns would be power, uh, of th this portion would return 0 and base would be 2 multiplied by 0 each time. I can show you if I change it to 0, if I do 2 and 5, we get a 0 because it's a multiplication by 0. We have to stop it with 1, which is the, as you remember, because base 1 equals base. That's, uh, that's important. All right, no, I, like I said, I know this is a little confusing. Hopefully it's a little less confusing, or at least not more than it was before. And uh, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please like the video, share it, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I will see you next time. Take care.